Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Dylan Jones and today we will be talking about adding a web map service to our Trimble data collector. For those of you who are unfamiliar with web map services, they allow you to display aerial photos and other map backgrounds on your Trimble data collector without having to download all the data at once. The data is stored and maintained by an organization providing the service and the WMS sends only what you need at that instant. A constant internet connection is necessary in order to stream the data from the web map service. What you will need is a controller running Trimble Access version 2019.00 or later, an internet connection, and a web map service URL. Let's now jump over to the software to see how to get a web map service set up. To load a web map service into Trimble Access, what you're first going to need is the URL for the web map service itself. So I found one here on the Minnesota Geo webpage for a geospatial image service. Um, I can obtain digital orthophotography and hillshade um, background maps um, from this URL provided here. Also note that the projection is specific to this web map service. So based off this information, I can only use projection UTM 15 North NAT 83 indicated by the ES, EPSG code here. So I'm going to save that here uh, for my next step. I'm going to create a new Trimble Access job. I need to set up the properties of this job with the proper coordinate system and that needs to represent the same coordinate system that is indicated from my web map service so that my maps load into the proper position. So I'm going to set my coordinate system to UTM 15 North. I'm going to change my units here. Units shouldn't matter a whole lot. I just prefer to, to work in US survey feet. And then from here, I'm going to accept to create the job. I've connected up to my R10 uh, GNSS receiver. My live position here on my map screen, indicated by the green cross. Now I'm going to go to my active map screen in order to add in that WMS. So under active map, I have a button at the bottom, WMS to add in a new web map service. I'm going to click the new button to create my first web map service. And I'm going to give it a name of digital ortho from Mingeo. Mingeo is the source of my WMS. I'm going to go back to the web page to grab that URL do a copy and paste, and then click the test button. Now I received an error that the request parameter uh, should be deleted. I'll click OK and do that. I'm just going to delete this little bit off the, off the end of the URL. Press test again. Now at this point, you need to have an internet connection, otherwise the test to the WMS server will not be successful. I received a successful note there, or a successful message, meaning that things are good. Pulls in the coordinate system from, of the WMS. I can change the opacity of the background map. I can enable it as a base layer. And I can request transparent PNG files as necessary, and if they are provided. I'm going to click Accept to accept that new uh, WMS. Click Accept to get back to the active map page. And then now enable the WMS by clicking on the layer. Should put a check mark next to it. Click Accept to go back to my map screen. And your web map service should load in there in the background. Again, you need to maintain internet connection for this to work. Now I can change my background if uh, provided in the WMS. Go back to the active map, click the arrow to the side of the WMS, 
and I can see here that I have a bunch of different maps that I can load in to my map screen in Trimble Access. So what I want to load in here is my Hillshade LiDAR data. So I'm going to click None to remove visibility of all layers, and then simply uh, click on the Hillshade LiDAR layer and click Accept. That should change my background to the Hillshade LiDAR uh, background. And I can go in there and load in whatever, whatever I want on top of that. So depending on what's available in your WMS and your location, uh, you may or may not um, be able to load in some of these, but uh, just for example, in, from my WMS, I can load in a background of the Hillshade LiDAR data. Now to remove a WMS or to add another WMS, we'll go into our WMS button again, click new to add an, another web map service or delete to delete this existing web map service. That concludes this Frontier Precision Tech Talk. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We hope you learned something beneficial and will join us again next time.